Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and I just want to say that I hope everybody had a very happy and a hearty Thanksgiving. I know I did. I've eaten so much turkey over the past couple of days that um, my urine smells of turkey. I'm not joking. My pee smells like turkey. But anyway, went to uh, Walmart's early Black Friday sale, um, which they started at 8 p.m. on uh, Thanksgiving night, actually. And um, showed up about 6.30. Um, not a whole lot of people there. I was thinking maybe it would be kind of a, a sparse uh, year this year. Um, by 7, 7.30, uh, the crowds were packed in around the, uh, the DVDs and Blu-rays. They also had the video games in that area, so a lot of people were there for the video games. Um, and, of course, once they said go, it was every man for himself. There was... Um, just a lot of pushing and shoving and I uh, uh, actually saw one little boy standing on the outskirts of the crowd. Uh, it looked like a nervous wreck. He was mumbling to himself what sounded like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over and over again. And then finally he goes, ah shit, and just takes off. Um, my own um, ability to be polite and um, uh, uh, not use my uh, large body to uh, uh, manipulate and move people out of my way um, uh, didn't last very long. I was actually standing in, uh, sort of pinched into an area between uh, between boxes of Blu-rays and people were just standing around and they couldn't move and some people even brought shopping carts into the mess. I don't know if they were using those like tactically uh, to you know just bulldoze people out of the way or what but um, that was a really bad idea and I was like I'm getting ready to just start bowling people over and a little woman just went through there just pushing and just knocking people out of the way and I was like you know what it's time so I just you know boom boom elbow push shove you know push your shopping cart into me while I'm driving it right back into your gut I'm slinging it to the side um, Slowly but surely, people got the hell out of my way, and uh, I managed to grab uh, some Blu-rays and some DVDs. Not nearly as much as I had hoped to, or as I had planned to. I have to say, Walmart selection was kind of underwhelming. Um, not a whole lot there, really. Not a whole lot there, really, worth uh, picking up, even at uh, markdown prices. But I did grab quite a few things. I'll show them off right here. Start with the Blu-rays. I uh, got the Hunger Games on Blu-ray. This is the uh, two disc blu-ray set uh, it was for like nine bucks at walmart so yeah two discs lots of special features really cool movie if you haven't seen it highly recommend it uh, i'm sure it'll look great in blu-ray next up prometheus this is the dvd blu-ray and a digital copy um looking forward to checking this movie out again i saw it in theaters um I enjoyed it, but I think I, I'd wanted a little bit more from it. Um, it was a little, a little difficult to follow, but I, I, I am looking forward to checking it out again. I thought it was really interesting, and um, so yeah, gonna check this out again. Next up, one of my favorite movies that that, uh, that that's come out this year, uh, The Cabin in the Woods. This is the Blu-ray digital copy and ultraviolet. It's also the uh, DVD too. So it's DVD, Blu-ray, Ultraviolet, and digital copy all rolled into one. Uh, looks like it's got lots of cool special features on it. Uh, so, yeah. One of my favorite movies of this year. Now I own it on Blu-ray, and uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out again. Uh, last up for Blu-rays, this is The Princess Bride. Grab this flick. Really cool little flick. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this movie. Grabbed it because uh, I know my girlfriend really likes it and decided I would... Uh, Grab it for her, and we could watch it together, and it is just loaded with special features. So, yeah, very cool. Now, on to the DVDs. All these DVDs were $1.98 or something like that. Uh, first up, Blue Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, because what DVD Blu-ray collection is complete without a copy of Blue Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Well, none, and no longer is mine, because I now own a copy of... Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, lots of special features on here. So, yeah, this is 40 years of everlasting Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory edition. Cool. 
Next up, Unknown, starring Liam Neeson. Haven't uh, seen this movie, haven't heard anything about it, but it's got Liam Neeson in it. Liam Neeson is, uh, he's pretty badass. Um, so, yeah, I'll check that out. Uh, next up, haven't seen this movie, haven't heard a whole lot about it, The Right with Anthony Hopkins. Looks like it's some sort of exorcism uh, thriller kind of dealy. Um, two bucks. Thought, what the hey. Grab it. Uh, next up, heard this was a funny movie. And for two dollars, I thought I would give it a shot. The Hot Tub Time Machine. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, the unrated version. So, um, yeah, I'll check it out for two bucks. I'll check it out. And last up, kind of got this for my mother because she likes uh, she likes Sherlock Holmes and mysteries and stuff like that. This is Sherlock Holmes with, uh, of course, Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, directed by uh, Guy Ritchie. Um, haven't seen this. I might check it out. I don't know. Really sort of bought this for my mom because she's into, into that kind of thing. So, yeah. So, that was my Black Friday Walmart haul. Not quite as much as I had hoped to grab, but um, I've got another big, big... Um, DVD Blu-ray update that I've been sort of collecting for the past couple of months that I'm going to get to here um, relatively soon, I hope. So, um, yeah, hope you guys had a great Black Friday. Leave below comments about your own Black Friday shopping, what uh, what you picked up while you were out there in the, uh, in the throngs, in the sea of humanity, fighting for your life. Um, so, yeah, until next time, you guys take it easy, and uh, peace.